Having reached Gangotri, Balan's notes continue. We washed ourselves in the Ganges and felt happy. He then goes on to describe the surroundings and his travels with the help of a beautiful drawing with detailed legends, much like a map. In front of the Gangotri temple, 4, the Ganges X meets the Kedar Ganga Z. We crossed the Ganges using the bridge at Y and walked along the Kedar Ganga. At the point T, we crossed over a small log bridge to reach the land B. It is in this piece of land between the two holy rivers where we got to meet three great saints of that region. At one was the Kutia of the great Falhari Baba. Balan's notes continue. He lives in a small cave, the door to which is three feet tall by two feet wide. It is dark inside except for the burning of the dhuni. We asked if we could come in and crawled in. The Baba, easily six feet tall and broad, was sitting in Padmasana, with his head nearly touching the ceiling. He had a beautiful smile, pure and guileless like a child's. His eyes throbbed with a divine glow. He is an Akanda Mauni. He asked us in sign language where we were from. We answered. When our guide asked him about his health, he wrote on the sand that he had been fasting all through the Chaitra month, not even water. It is the nature of the flesh to be now healthy and now sick, he said. We are not concerned with these transformations. We are the indestructible Supreme Spirit, Shiva himself. Shivoham, Shivoham. He wrote again, Fir darshan de dijiye. We promised. With his blessings and a strange peace, I stepped outside. The Ganges humming her immortal tune. I found a new inner balance. I forgot all existence. Lost myself in myself. In that which is everything about us, beyond us, beneath, above, everywhere, all around. A few yards away, number two in the picture, dwells the Vairagi Sadhu, Sri Raghunath Das Ji. The five foot by three foot entrance takes us in. This Swami Ji too was in Padmasan, meditating. We did Namaskar. We were with him for ten minutes. He spoke not a word. He looked steadily into the embers of his dhuni while we sat facing him. It was the most eloquent ten minutes. In that silence, the attitude of the Babaji, the room, the fire, his begging bowl, everything assumed a special significance. If we did not receive its meaning, it could only have meant a weakness in our own understanding. Real life is in meditation and renunciation. For just a while, it seemed that time had stopped still. The world had ceased to be. Next, we visited the Kutia of Sri Swami Krishnashram, just about a hundred yards away. Inside, the Swami sat in a tray of dry grass, not even a piece of cloth on him, absolutely still except for his eyes, which seemed alive and yet held in a perfectly steady gaze, looking at nothing in particular except the space in front of him. We lovingly offered our packet of sweets and sat down. The Baba looked straight through us into the beyond. Three times the range of his vision shrunk to fix on us for a fraction of a second. But even those few moments spent in His Divine Presence were moments of such intense inspiration that I will never forget them in this lifetime. I returned towards the bank of the Ganges, sat on a base outside the Shiva temple and had two hours of meditation, 
Wonderful. No words to express the inner peace I enjoyed, the concentration that I achieved, the entire world forgotten. For the first time, I tasted a bliss in meditation, which I know is but an iota of what one can have from deep, long, steady meditation. My only prayer to my Guru Maharaj and to Shankara is that by their grace may I never fall, that I may drink deeper at the fountain of the eternal divine nectar. ಶ್ರೀಕಂಠದೇವ ಶಿವರುದ್ರಮಕೇಶ ಶಂಭೋ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮದಾಪಹದೀನಬಂಧೋ ಹೇ ಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ ಮನೋಹರ ವೇಷಧಾರಿ ಶ್ರೀನೀಲಕಂಠ ಭಗವನ್ ತವ ಸುಪ್ರಭಾತ ಹರಿಓಂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಶ್ಯೋರ್ ಯು ಲೈಕ್ ದ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಫಾರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸಚ್ ಅಮೇಝಿಂಗ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್